In this lesson, we will do few more questions of permutations of objects which are all distinct. First question is that find value of n when n permutation 2 is equal to 30. So here, what we are given is n permutation 2 is equal to 30. If we apply the formula for expansion of permutations, this will be n factorial over n minus 2 factorial and that is given is equal to 30. Since if we have 10 factorial we can write it equal to 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. Factorials mean continued product of natural numbers until 8. So this way, if we break n factorial in such a way that this is n time n minus 1 time n minus 2 factorial and writing the denominator as n minus 2 factorial is equal to 30. This means n minus 2 factorial can be cancelled out with n minus 2 factorial which leaves behind n time n minus 1 is equal to 30, which is a quadratic equation in n. If we multiply n inside, this will be n square minus n minus 30 equal to 0. So here a is equal to a is coefficient of n square, which is 1 b is coefficient of n which is minus 1 and c is the constant term that is minus 30 as a c is equal to 1 time minus 30 is equal to minus 30 it's negative number there show, therefore we should be looking at two factors of 30 whose difference is equal to minus 1 and we know 5 and 6 are such factors. Therefore, this n squared minus n minus n minus 30 equal to 0 can be written as n squared minus 6n plus 5n minus 30 equal to 0. If we take n common, this will be n minus 6 plus 5 time n minus 6 equal to 0. So the factors we have are n minus 6 time n plus 5. This gives us n minus 6 equal to 0 or n plus 5 equal to 0 because product of two real numbers is only 0 if one of them is at least 0. So from here we get n is equal to 6 or n is equal to minus 5 but n is equal to minus 5 is absurd is absurd. So what we accept for the answer is n equal to 6. So this is the value of n that was required of us and the question number two now is example two given is that n p4 n p4 ratio n minus one permutation three is equal to nine ratio one. We are required to find the value for n. Let's apply the same formula. This is n factorial over n minus 4 factorial ratio n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 minus 3 factorial is equal to 9 ratio 1. So this time 
what we are going to do is we are going to change this ratio into a division sign this will give us n factorial over n minus 4 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial over n minus 4 factorial is equal to 9 divided by 1. Because 9 divided by 1 is again equal to 9 and on the left hand side if we reciprocate the second term this is n, n factorial over n minus 4 factorial and if we change division sign into multiplication by reciprocating n minus 4 factorial in the denominator and n minus 1 factorial in the denominator that will be equal to simply 9 and now n minus 4 factorial is cancelled with n minus 4 factorial which leaves behind n factorial over n minus 1 factorial which is equal to 9. Now again we use the same thing which we just explained that n can be written as n minus 1 factorial and this is n minus 1 factorial equal to 9. So n minus 1 factorial is gone with n minus 1 factorial. This gives us the value of n equal to 9. So this is another value of n for second example. For question number 3, example 3, we have n permutation r. So show that show that n permutation r is equal to n minus 1 n minus 1 permutation r plus r time n minus 1 n minus 1 permutation r minus 1 so right hand side here right hand side is equal to n minus 1 permutation r plus r time n minus 1 permutation r minus 1 and if we apply the formula to open up this permutation so this will become n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 minus r factorial plus r time n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus r minus 1 whole factorial and if we simplify this we can take n minus 1 factorial common and inside what we will have here is 1 over n minus r minus 1 factorial plus because n minus 1 factorial is gone outside we have is r in the numerator divided by this is n minus r factorial because minus 1 got cancelled with plus 1 so now we have this thing here n minus 1 factorial into 1 over n minus r minus 1 factorial plus this is r over n minus r n minus r time n minus r minus 1 factorial. This is the same principle we have been using over and over again. This technique is a lot used in recursive methods. 
but here we are using it in permutations n minus 1 factorial and we can take common n minus r minus 1 factorial into what is left here is 1 1 plus r over n minus r because everything else is gone outside so now we have here is n minus 1 factorial over n minus r minus 1 factorial into if we take the LCM that will give us n minus r plus r over n minus r and we can close the bracket and this is equal to n minus 1 factorial over n minus r minus 1 factorial into this minus r and plus r are cancelled n over n minus r and now n can be multiplied in the numerator that will give us n time n minus 1 factorial divided by this will be n minus r time n minus r minus 1 factorial it's quite interesting that n into n minus 1 factorial will become n factorial just like 9 factorial time 10 is equal to 10 factorial so this is it and uh, for the same reason this becomes n minus r factorial and now if we write this in the form of permutation this is n p r which is in fact left hand side of the expression which we wanted to prove.